Hi everyone, Ray from Pro String with another racket restringing tutorial. Today's racket is going to be on, today's tutorial will be on a badminton racket, Yonex Nano Ray 80. Nano Ray, no pun intended, 80. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, cool. So this is a much older frame. Uh, we're gonna string it with Yonex BG80 at 24 pounds of tension. As you've seen, I've found my middle looped around the top, always starting from the bottom. I've counted my string, I've got to count uh, 10, 10 strings to one side because we've already got our one main. So I've counted my 10 to one side against the frame. And now we're gonna crack on with the stringing part. <clears throat> so I counted exactly like this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left myself a nice little piece to reach the tension head, and then uh, no need to measure up against the second part because we're doing a two piece. Uh, sorry, one piece. I always say that, don't I? One piece, two knots. Guys, always stringing symmetrically, compensating your tension from side to side, exactly the same. So we do three on this side, and then we do exactly the same on the other side, and so on and so on. Three, three to each side every time until we run out of mains. So it'll be three, this, is the, this has 11 mains to each side. Um, the crosses, I believe, this is, I'm guessing this is a 21 cross. I can tell you right now though. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So uh, I counted 13 full lengths of the racket from the bottom of the grip to the top of the racket. 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half full lengths of the racket. And that should give you more than enough, well, on almost every uh, every badminton racket, except for a few models out there, as I experienced the other day. For example, the is this, uh, Forza, F-O-R-Z-A, one of the Forza brands. It's a much older racket and model. However, um, yeah, uh, it does uh, have one extra main to each side. So instead of 22, which is its norm, it had 24 mains. So we've done three to each side. I've already, I'm already on my fifth to the other. But as, as I say, always compensating to each side. Don't risk it for a biscuit, guys. You will break a badminton racket. Never mind. Put it out of shape. That'll be the, the worst case. Or the best case scenario is deforming the racket. But yeah, I really don't advise that. Checking how far I am from the tripod, about that far. I'm trying to get as close as possible. I still need to try that um that idea I've got from filming from the ceiling. Let's see how that goes. So the client originally asked for 28 pounds of tension, but the recommended highest you should go on this frame is 24. Um, so I did tell them, so I said, let's go 24, no problems. Uh, be careful guys, just as a little tip, be careful at what tensions you're stringing on badminton. Just don't think 
any badminton can hold any tension. Believe you me, and I speak from experience, uh, that not every racket can hold every tension. It's just not how it goes. Not, not in badminton. So be very careful what you do with badminton stringing, guys. Even top rackets, you'd be very surprised that you can't go very high in the tension. Why? I'm not entirely sure. I guess just weaker frames, not necessarily just weaker, but softer maybe. Um, depending, I guess, on the technology used or whatever, it probably benefits one thing, but then going high in tension might not be uh, a thing you can do. And uh, yeah, it's been another long day, guys. Another long day. Grinding it out in this little office. It's actually a bedroom converted into an office. One more racket, this one, and then off to my other workshop. Two miles away from here. And then I've got to go do some other errands, believe it or not, this late at night. It is 8.30 p.m. UK London time. slips if I'm not super careful on how I put the uh, string in the tension head. Tennis and squash never an issue. But here if you're not careful, can slip sometimes. I am on the Wilson Biota original as always. Very good machine. Very good. Especially uh, price to quality. Quality to price. Fantastic. <clears throat> all right guys well there you go mains completed as you've seen compensating every time and as i always do i'm going to use i'm going to weave three crosses just to start the crosses off a habit of mine you don't have to do it that way with two is probably enough but i've gotten to the habit of doing three because i used to uh well i still find it easier just uh instead of having all the tension pulled across uh, where all the mains are kind of blocking and then crosses as well. Oops. So the first two crosses on this uh, on this Yonex Nano Ray are shared holes. As most Yonex rackets, guys, remember to always keep moving that string. So like I said, I weave three. You don't have to do that. It's just my own kind of methodology, if you'd like. Seems to work well for me. As you can see now, once I close up all these loops, um, then it makes it does just make it harder to get the strings across. Yeah, check my camera real quick. Oh, good. <clears throat> <coughs> I 
<coughs> and it's always recommended to go up half a pound, which is probably 0.2 of a kilo on your crosses. Your next recommend to go higher on your crosses to keep its isometric shape. So I've done exactly that, up 0.5, 0 0.5 of a pound. Got it. Always being a bit stubborn though. So as you can see, stringing one ahead, one in front. Surely just to make my life easier. I think you guys should do that too. So instead of just pulling this string that I have weaved already, which is ready to go, I'm gonna do one more. Surely because it is easier guys, nothing else. Yeah. Excess string on the knot. Keep moving that hand, guys. So if it's helpful for some of you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, skip one, eight, skip one, nine, skip one, 10, skip one, 11. So we're skipping one hole after the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, skip one, eight, skip one, nine, skip one, 10, and then their last 11 strings. The bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, shared hole, 10, shared hole, skip one, 11, shared hole. <coughs> oh dear. The badminton community in London is actually quite big. Bigger than I ever thought.
First shared hole again at the top. I tend to be a bit quieter in the evenings when I'm doing videos. But I guess at the same time, <clears throat> there's not that much to say when doing the, all the crosses. Got to do them. Any questions, guys? Always leave it in the comment box. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm just pushing down this string here that's blocking the um, blocking the way for the cross string to go through, which is a main string. Normally there's at least one on each side of uh, a string, the one I'm doing now specifically on a Yenex racket at least, where they're very wide. I wouldn't be able to tell you why, why this 10th main string gets made in a bigger hole. Um, maybe because of the way the angle of the, of the curvature of the racket maybe has to have a bit bigger hole so it doesn't um crack the frame or string or, or something along those lines i'd imagine if you don't let me know that's my uh, my guess all right guys two more mains to go two more mains crosses even so i don't know if you guys noticed before i put in these small stringing aids which really help uh, giving yourself more space because you can see it's covered by a main string but there you go i had enough space there just to pull it through nice and easy <clears throat> unassisted without the all <clears throat> and there it is again the slide of the string through the tension head no dramas.
Right guys, and our Parnell knot. Find an easiest access, grommet, that gives you access to tying the knot, which is right, whoa. <clears throat> Be careful with the pliers, easily. I've done it before when you clip another string and it actually breaks and you start all over again. Not just your time, but the money on the strings as well. So be very careful with all your tools and badminton rackets. On every racket, but especially on badmintons. All right, there. There you have it. <clears throat> Sorry for being a, a bit more quiet than usual, but I think I've had a, a long few days. Didn't take a day off on the weekend, so I am definitely feeling it and paying the price. But there you have it, guys. Your racket should pop off the machine that easy. That easy. If not, you may have some problems. Uh, and I suggest not applying so much pressure on your mounting system when mounting the, the racket on the machine. For future reference, if you got away with it, great. If not, I'm sorry. Be careful. There you have it. Another one for the books. Much older uh, Yonex bad badminton racket, but Nano Ray 80. 80. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in as always. And have yourself a lovely rest of the day. Take care. Happy stringing. Bye-bye.